In this video, guys, we're going to look at drone stocks. Stay tuned. Hey, traders, one welcome to you. By the way, if you're a subscriber, I appreciate your support. Thank you. Okay, so drone stocks. If, like me, you think of drones, you think of they are pretty cool, fun, big toys, right? Big boys' toys. You get them, they've got like this controller. Some people have got an iPad on them. They go way up into the sky. It's like flying your own little plane. Take really great footage. Uh, if you're at a motorsport event, like I was a couple of weeks ago, uh, there's a guy there with a, this big parrot drone. We'll talk about parrot in a second. G getting great footage uh, and, it, and it's it, really good stuff. So there's the entertainment side of it, but there's a massive, massive, huge commercial aspect on the other side of it, agriculture, military, um, you name it, it's massive. So if we want to get on board this boom in drones, uh, what are the stocks we potentially could look at? So let's have a look at some of the more obvious ones and then let's go to the ones that are a little bit less obvious. So we've got the obvious ones, which are the drone manufacturers. Um, and that's gonna be things like Parrot uh, and Boeing. Uh, Parrot is, trade on the, uh, is, is a French company, but you've probably seen the Parrot drones. I think they're the most popular kind of ones you can buy. They're not, they're not cheap, they're about 300 bucks, I think, $500, something like that. Um, in the ones that look white and they've got the kind of the four uh, quad, they're called quadrocopters, aren't they? But they've got um, the uh, sort of consumer market. And they've got a good lead on that. People who are into it and prepared to pay a bit more photographers trying to get good footage, that kind of stuff. Uh, they've got a leg up on that. Boeing as well, uh, obviously creating drones. But I don't think that the manufacturers of the drones is potentially the best play. It is exposure. But if we're looking to be a little bit more clever, maybe we can look elsewhere. Um, and you're not so vulnerable. The point is, if you're going with something brand new, and I know that Boeing doesn't obviously just make drones, um, but if you're going for something brand new, uh, you've got to be a little bit careful and be a little bit more thinking about ooh, who's going to get the biggest boost. And if you think about hardware, one or two hardware companies kind of come up on top, uh, the second tier software companies or supporting companies, uh, they're the ones that supply all the hardware, they're the ones that make some money. So. Uh, these are the uh, kind of manufacturers, if you like. Uh, here, we've got the backup. And now I know that I've put Amazon here into two because they are looking at delivery by drone. They've got this Amazon Drone Prime and they're kind of trying to push on that because they think that's going to help them. Um, so they're manufacturing their own drones and I assume they're taking components from other elsewhere. But more importantly, the amount of data that's uploaded from a drone and also with legislation, these cloud companies that are offering cloud storage may well benefit massively. And, and that's another side of Amazon businesses which are making a lot of money too, but you know, there's a lot of data that's required to be uploaded from these drones. If they're streaming video data, it's going to the cloud and it's coming back down again. Imagine if everyone's using that, all of a sudden it's gonna take pull, quite a bit of pull on those resources. Then we've got uh, number three, which is the chip manufacturer. So the chips that go into these drones to make them work, to make them operate, because there's quite a bit of clever tech in them, isn't it, to keep them uh, flying. So that each of the four rotors is doing the right thing, but, but based on the input, based on you know how it's moving relative to the coordinates, all sorts of very clever technology in there. So Texas Instruments and microchip technology could well benefit from that. Of course, these are stocks that are exclusively drone, um, but if they've got that arm, and they start to get a bit of revenue from it, then that's great. You just think of NVIDIA uh, with the cryptocurrency boom, they're noth nothing to do with cryptocurrency. The fact that their cards were being used to mine those cryptocurrencies saw NVIDIA uh, really get a good boost in stock price. Uh, the other one we've got down here, guys, some sort of different ones here, uh, Deer. Now, Deer are producing, I think they've bought a startup that has a drone which will allocate pesticides and weed killers where it needs it the most. Now this is quite exciting from an agricultural perspective, not necessarily this, but the, the actual application of drones for agriculture. You think of not so much in the UK because we haven't got massive acres with the, most of them tended by your know, tractors, combine harvesters, etc. But you think of massive lands like Australia and the US where they've got hundreds and hundreds of acres and you just physically can't go over it. A drone can quite easily scan up and down and see, hey, that needs tending to, that needs water, that needs this, that needs that, and perhaps even apply what it needs to in that area. So that's what this uh, what deer are doing. Doing there, they're kind of spotting areas that perhaps need some weed killer, need some pesticide, whatever it may be. And also oil companies. I've seen an article where 
the drones will patrol, and this is kind of a bit of a subset of security as well, will patrol pipelines, oil pipelines, and identify any damage or any kind of attacks on the pipeline or any leaks or anything like that. So it can constantly be, it's a, it's a far more efficient way than having someone drive along in a pickup truck all the time along the massive length of pipeline that runs through a country or whatever it may be. You get the point, uh, if you're monitoring a border, a drone is a great way of doing it. So massive, massive implications here, massive ways of doing things. Oh, final one I didn't um, mention is GoPro. Now GoPro is interesting because it comes up quite a lot with this new technology. It's tried the camera thing, it's okay, it's got some traction, of course they're still in that. The stock has been battered recently. It's gonna dip, obviously, depending on when you're watching this video, but they're moving into drone stocks a lot more. Uh, they're sorry, not drone stocks, into the drone technology a lot more. They had one which wasn't didn't do very well, releasing another one. They may well be one to watch because they're looking at VR and they're looking at drones. So if you want this new technology, uh, potentially something could come out of that. But, you know, this is not, none of this is recommendations, guys. It's just planting the seeds. You can go out there and do some digging yourself. So if there's any that you know of, um, then please stick them in the comment section below. This is just a, a small selection for you to kind of get started. Um, but I think that th this is a potentially a big, a big, big boom. Um, there will be regulation, there will be software, there will be hardware, there will be applications. All those things will potentially make money for the companies to get on board it. And so there's different ways of approaching it. Some ideas there. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this kind of stuff, thumbs up. See you next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.